Hey minions, welcome to Crank It Up. I'm Jim Price, and on this episode of Action Awareness, I'll be talking about the favor of Dionysius card of the Mythic Greeks. This is without a doubt my least favorite action in the game. And when I say least favorite, I mean I hate the card the most. And by hate the most, I want to will weed in it the second I see it. Not favor of Hermes, which can set up a mega turn. That's just another version of time loop. Not favor of Zeus, which functions as a lower ceiling, higher floor version of Rampage. No, my least favorite card is this card, Favor of Dionysius, which I'll be referring to as Favor of D for the rest of the video, not just because it's hard to say, but because I hate the card so much. So why do I hate this card so much? Is it weak or useless? No, quite the opposite. This card plays perfectly into the Mythic Greek strategy and succeeds in being incredibly annoying without being outright annoying like Take the Shinies. So let's look at Favor of D and see what it does. First, the card gives one of your minions plus one power until the end of the turn, which is useful, but nothing special. A single minion gaining plus one temporary power really has meaning outside of finishing a base. But you get to play an extra action, so this card can be chained into greater combos. But it's the final clause of Favor of D that is just so annoying. You may place this card on top of your deck instead of your discard pile. In other words, you can play this card every single turn once you see it. Because there is an extra action, it doesn't cost you your regular action play either. But what does Favor of D do for the Greeks? It works perfectly for them. The Spartan minion gains a power counter the first time you play an action on your turn. As you know, you get one regular minion and one regular action in Smash Up per turn. In my experience, it is far more likely that a player will play a minion but no action rather than the reverse. When you do only play an action, it tends to be because you don't have any minions in your hand. Most of the actions in Smash Up are standard actions and many of those are base finishers such as augmentation designed to initiate a combo, whether it's power, movement, extra plays, or any other synergistic effect. Most power-based cards only last until the end of the turn, but what actions do you play in the meantime to permanently power up the Spartan? That's where Favor of D comes in. You can ensure that you get the plus one power counter every turn without wasting your base finishers. Yes, every single turn for every single Spartan with one card. Even as part of a big drop, Favor of D isn't a bad card. A Spartan can give you 3 power, Favor of D gives you 2 power between its ability and the Spartan reaction, and then you can play Favor of Ares to bring the power up to 8. Combine this with the fact that Favor of D triggers all Spartans as well as Heracles, Jason, and Odysseus, and the power just racks up. This type of free action play works great on the wooden horse base where action plays get plus 2 power. Favor of D gives you a free action play as well as 3 power, plus any minion reactions. This will make it very easy to break that base. Favor of D is unique in that it is the only card that can place itself on top of your deck after it's played. The closest card is Friendship Power of the Mythic Horses, which can be placed immediately back into your hand. I guess the Mythic Factions don't care about the typical discard pile. Fortunately, this is indicative of the card's only weakness. It slows down your card draw. Because it is placed on top of your deck, you are effectively only drawing one new card every turn since the other card is going to be Favor of D. This will prevent you from getting to Odysseus, but there are other ways to mitigate the weakness. It's worth noting that the Mythic Greeks have very little card draw. Favor of Apollo will draw Favor of D and will let you play an extra action, but that's not the best use of Apollo since it works better as part of a terminal combo. Instead, I would use Favor of Athena to pull that card back into my hand, getting a sense as to what cards I'm burying beneath Favor of D. Note that Friendship Power doesn't have the problem as it goes back immediately to your hand, but that card is not nearly as annoying because Favor of D generates so many power counters over the course of the game. Other than the Geek card counters, there really isn't anything you can do about this card. The card is drawn back into the hand of its owner before you have a chance to manipulate the owner's deck. Expect players to spam it repeatedly as long as they can tolerate the reduced card draw. This is why it is my least favorite card, 
because I know that I have to beat them very quickly, otherwise the game is going to turn around in their favor. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's shut it down.